Hey everyone, Real Comic Stack checking out the Amazing Spider-Man number 21 as Nick Spencer continues his run on the Amazing Spider-Man with his hunted storyline featuring Craven the Hunter, uh, of course Peter Parker, uh, Black Cat, I mean all of the um, animal themed villains. I mean it is, it's been a great storyline but it's really been focusing on two people, Craven and the Lizard. And we start with Craven, the man who has put all this together. And he, at the end of the last issue, was called out by Spider-Man, and and he's handling it. He's handling it um, in a very vicious way. And Spider-Man is being mauled by dozens of vermin. It is. I mean, this two-page spread here is just. It's. I mean, you just dive into it, looking, and if Spider-Man is no out fighting for his life and and Craven knows that he's his whole goal is to make Spider-Man more to make him the, worthy of being hunted by Craven the hunter but before we get that we jump to what's going on elsewhere in the dome and you have the uh, the, the drones for better lack of a better term still hunting all the beasts while well, the beasts are fighting back now because arcade has given Vulture a piece of technology that levels the playing field and these things are now no longer these invincible robots however In attacking them and, and fighting them. They're still losing They're still losing people and Basically Vulture just shrugs it off saying sacrifices have to be made and that these losses are acceptable and it's kind of thinning the herd if you will But when you jump back to spider-man, he is fighting for his life. These vermin just keep coming they're relentless and you see him fighting for his life and you also see craven in these in these in-between panels basically suiting up and it's a great great visual and then this this visceral shot here of spidey just being overwhelmed them just jumping all over ripping clawing at him and him just bleeding and starting to accept that look i'm not gonna make it out of here i'm a i'm gonna die here and Right at that time, Craven shows up and runs off all of the vermin, telling him, no, not yet, Spider-Man. And this weakling you've chosen as your avatar has failed you, but I'm going to make him stronger. And Craven just, just stands over him and then and then scoops him up. He, he, he picks him up off the ground. And then you get this shot of Spider-Man. It's just white. Just whiteness. This warm white nothingness and it's you know very uh very peaceful <laughs> and yeah it's, the word pop peaceful pops up right as i'm trying to describe it and uh and he just let me stay here and then you have craven and tell him to rise and he's doesn't want to and then craven just up and it just fries and and uh Oh man, it's just it's good art. It's good. It, it's good. And then he wakes up and he's chained. He's in he's in a new suit again, which he makes the comment this is getting kind of creepy. And uh, then he hears a voice and he realizes he knows that voice. And I mean he's beaten. I mean he shows, pulls up his shirt and looks and it's but he's in there with Doc Connors and and this is where the book gets really really good. And it's because you get to really hear from, from Doc Connors. They're sitting there having to watch on the monitors as Black Cat, somebody that Spider-Man cares about, and his uh, his son, uh, Billy Connors, are hunted. And, and he's telling the story about how he accidentally, when he was a lizard, he killed his son. However, he was granted him back. He got him back, and it was his soul. And then we also find out from Billy Connors that he overheard this and he remembered his dad killing him so it's this horrible horrible story but ultimately um doc connors is saying look i couldn't protect my son i'm the i couldn't protect him from a monster that i brought into this world and i'm failing at it all over again i can't protect him and while him and spider-man are watching this the son of craven his last son, the, the last clone, finds him, finds uh, Black Cat, finds Bobby, and he's he's about to kill him. Black Cat's already hurt. She's already taken a shot. Um, 
and there's only one choice. Doc Connors tells him, look, pull off this inhibitor chip. That's why he's like, that'll kill you, dude. And he's like, you have to do it. It's the only way to escape is for me to become the lizard. And Spider-Man, faced with that choice, he's like, he knows it could kill him. But he knows there's no other way out of this. And Doc Honors is like, do it, just do it. If it kills me, it kills me, but I have to take this chance because, I mean, you do it, you would absolutely do it in a heartbeat for your children. And Spider-Man, he reluctantly does it. He, he pulls it out, and then when he does, it's just Doc Connors laying on the floor. You hear the scream, the visceral scream of in the Craven sitting on his throne with congratulations, basically. You've passed the test, and now you are ready to fight the hunter. And then when you go back to Spider-Man, it's just the lizard just laying there lifeless on the floor. And Spider-Man just standing over him. And Spidey looking down at him, just furious. And he starts yelling at him, rise. And he does. His eye pops open. And he is not, not going to be stopped. And guys, Nick Spencer is wrapping this up in The Amazing Spider-Man number 22. There's a whole lot going on. And don't forget that Mary Jane's out there right now with whatever that creepy centipede dude is. Um, it's still not really explained. He's still out there. He's in. She's out there sleeping on the couch, and he's standing right behind her. So we don't know what's going on with that. But that Spider-Man had a, a, a vision of that earlier. We don't know what's going on. Um... I mean, you got the lizards finally going to face up off against the son of Craven. You have the black cat who's injured. Craven's out there suited up, about to go after the spider. I mean, what? <laughs> this thing is all, I mean, it's coming to a head in the next issue. Guys, make sure you're, uh, you're subscribed. I'll have it here um, when it comes out. But get out to your LCS and definitely pick this thing up. You should be able to get some of the back issues and get caught up on it. Like I said, though, if you if you haven't yet, hey, hit that subscribe button and help me to keep winning in this game of YouTube. I sincerely appreciate it. Also, a like and any comments. What do you guys think about Nick Spencer so far on this run of Amazing Spider-Man? He's 21 issues into it. Have you enjoyed it? Are you looking forward to the, this big cl climax of uh, Hunted? 